At this point, your computer should be powered on after reconnecting your monitor to your new video card. Note that if I were to go into Device Manager the way I did before, I now see only one display adapter listed rather than two. However, the device says Standard VGA Graphics Adapter instead of ATI Radeon 5700 series. This is because Windows installed drivers to give basic video output from our installed video card. To confirm this, right click the display adapter device and select properties. You'll notice that under the driver tab, the driver provider is Microsoft and not ATI. We will now install the drivers for this video card. Note that I have already pre-downloaded the latest drivers from AMD's website. The icon you see on the left side of the screen is the application that shows up after downloading the drivers. This is an executable file, which means that I can just double left click on the icon or right click on the icon and select open to run the file. Normally when you open a file like this on your computer, you'll be given some form of security warning or Windows will prompt you whether or not you want to allow the program to continue. If prompted, click allow or if given a warning such as this, click run. A window will appear asking where the file should be placed for this install. Leave the path listed in the box as is and click the install button. After installing the files, the Catalyst Install Manager welcome screen appears. Select on the drop-down arrow what language you want to view the instructions in and click Next. On the next screen, you will be asked to either install or uninstall Catalyst on your computer. Select the Install option. Next, you will be asked whether the install should be Express or Custom. Select Express and click the Next button. After this, the End User License Agreement appears. Click on the Accept button to continue the install. If you are installing Catalyst on your computer for the first time, Windows may ask you to create a folder to store the files on. Click Yes to make the folder and the installation will begin. This install will load the video card drivers as well as the Catalyst Control Center software application that controls monitors, displays, and graphic processor settings. Once the installation is complete, click on the Finish button. After the install, you will be asked to restart the computer so that changes can be applied. Click Yes to restart your computer and you will have successfully installed your new graphics card.